Look, I spent this morning uh, at a synagogue in, in Liverpool, uh, and I think people have got to understand how scared and frightened Jewish people are, even though they're thousands of miles away from uh, the Middle East. And it's because of events like last night, because unfortunately in the past, when there have been disturbances in the Middle East, it does lead to an increase in hate crime, actually across the globe. And I think what we've got to understand is windows being smashed of Jewish businesses. It's not just in of itself a crime, uh, and the police are going to be bearing down on those responsible and will be catching them and holding them to account. But it, bring back, it brings back a trauma to Jewish people because they understand that in the 1930s their businesses were destroyed, windows were smashed, they were a minority. And that's one of the reasons why we've got to understand that there are ripples of fear emanating from uh, Israel. The actions of Hamas are outrageous and unacceptable and have got to be condemned. But also I think those of us that aren't Jewish have got to show solidarity and support to our Jewish colleagues, friends and uh, neighbours. The police uh, are, are making sure they have increased policing in those parts of our city where people are frightened. Unfortunately, Jewish places of worship already have security, Jewish schools already have uh, security. That's going to be enhanced over the course of the next few uh, days. A message to Jewish people is please don't suffer in silence. If you're concerned or worried, ring the police, your local police, or ring 101. Can I ask you as well about the comments made by Suella Braveman at conference last week about immigration? I mean, how does that, how do you think that's affected Londoners? Does it re represent the city? Look, I think words are really important. Uh, so just like this government's got to understand the consequences of sending out vans around London that say go home. Uh, similarly, they've got to understand the consequences of word like hurricane. Hurricane of migrants. Well, when I think of hurricane, I think of violence. I think of destruction. I think of death. And by her having hurricane in the same sentence as migrants, I think she could understand the consequences in relation to uh, th that choice of words. I think she deliberately chose the word uh, hurricane. It's not dog whistle politics. I think it's megaphone uh, politics. And she's got to be called out for it. It's wrong. I mean, you, you hear at Labour conference last week at Tory conference, big conversation was culture war. Do you think it's the same here, or is it more? Is there more of an allegiance? I've been speaking to journalists who were at this week's conference, are at this week's conference, and were at the Tory conference uh, last week. They say it's like chalk and cheese. We're a party this week that's showing we're showing we're united. Uh, we've got a positive set of policies. For those of us that are in positions of power and influence, we're setting out and running on our, on our record, whether it's you know affordable homes, whether it's free school meals, whether it's mentors. Compare and contrast that to last week, uh, a party divided, where Nigel Farage was uh, the biggest star in uh, town, a party selling lies, uh, but also a party running away from their record. This final question, I need to ask you about the bed bugs in Paris. I mean, have you made any plans or like, talked about how you're going to deal with it if it comes to London? Look, this is a real source of concern, right? People are worried about you know these bugs in Paris causing a problem in uh, London. I was in contact with TFL last week and uh, this weekend. We're taking steps to make sure we don't have those problems in uh, London uh, in relation to regu regular cleaning of uh, not just the tubes uh, and our buses, but talking to the Eurostar uh, as well. I want to reassure those watching and those uh, listening, TFL have one of the, the, the best you know, regimes to clean our assets uh, on a nightly uh, basis. We're, we're speaking to our friends in Paris to see if there are any lessons to be learned. For a variety of reasons, we don't think uh, those issues will arise in uh, London, but no complacency from TFL.